Okay, hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I want to show you how you can use the Winget package manager in Windows to install software easily from the command line. Usually, in order to install software, you have to visit the homepage of the software vendor, download the software, the installer, and install it manually. However, the package manager Winget uh, allows you to do installations from the command line. A lot of software is available there, and that's a good solution for setting up a new computer. For example, if you have reinstalled Windows, you can use a batch file to automatically install all your software. I will come to that at a later point. Okay, how can we use Winget? Okay, the first thing we can do is install software from the command line with Winget. Let's do that. Okay, I start up a command line here. I type uh, CMD in here and we get the command prompt. PowerShell works as well. A small tip, you can run it as administrator, then you won't be bothered with these messages here when you install software. Okay, here we go. And the first thing we need to do is to check if Winget is installed. So we just type in Winget, hit enter, and if the help here shows up, Winget is installed. Otherwise, you can install it from the Microsoft Store. Let's have a look to the Microsoft Store here. Just type in Winget in the search um, search area and then you will find the app installer here and uh, if you don't have Winget installed for example on an older Windows 10 system you can install the app installer and then you will get the Winget command. Okay the first thing we need to do is to find out which software is available and for example if we want to um, install a certain software uh, we can have a search uh, conducted here. We can type in Winget search and then we type in for example a program name for example let's do winra uh, in our example we want to install winra the system is now working and it looks up the online repository if the software is available and as you can see we have uh, three results here or yeah we have four results so for example we have winra here and in version uh, 6.2 there's also a winra better and now we can install the software here via this ID. So this ID is um, unique and we can use the ID to install the software here. For example, to install software we can winget install and then type in the ID ralab.winra and now the software is downloaded and automatically installed. And as you can see, it's successfully installed. And if you look into the start menu, we now see that WinRAW is installed on our system. So it's much easier, much faster to install software via the command line than to go to every homepage, download the software package and install it manually. For example, we can also, let's uh, do another example, Winget search VLC for the video LAN client, the media player. And as you can see, it now shows up here. VLC media player with the corresponding ID. And in order to install that, we can now do a video LAN dot VLC. Ah, I forgot the install. And now, uh, and I also have a typo here. So you have to write the ID correctly. Okay, now it's downloading VLC, as you can see and it will automatically be installed. So it's a very easy and convenient way to install software from the command line without uh, having to visit every homepage and download everything manually. As you can see, it runs more or less the normal installer here, so it's nothing special about the software installation. And we will now have a look how to remove software from our system. We have two possible ways to do that. So uh, let's wait until this has finished here. And now it's installed. We have a look here. We now have the VLC media player installed here and we can start it. Okay, um, how to get rid of software. There are two possible ways to uninstall software. The first one is we have a look into the settings of Windows and we go to apps and apps and features. And as you can see here, we go scroll down. Uh, here's our VLC media player and we also have WinRAW here and uh, so basically it's a normal installation what Winget does and so we can uh, uninstall every software here via the, um, via the settings app. So we can just do uninstall here. We don't have to use Winget and get rid of the software. So it's more or less a normal software installation. Of course we can also 
use winget to uninstall software. We can winget uninstall, and uh, then we um, need our ID for winra. So instead of winget install, we do winget uninstall winra. Once we did that, the uninstaller is now running. Let's wait a few seconds. Here's a message. Okay, continue with uninstall, and now the package is uninstalled. So now we have installed a single software package, and the Winget comes handy when you want to install a lot of software at once. For example, if you have a new computer here, a new Windows system, and you want to do a base installation of all your software. And then you want to know which software is available for Winget. And there's a nice uh, website here. It's called winstall.app. App, and here you can uh, have a look for certain apps you want to install. For example, we want to install Notepad++. We can add it to our list, or we can um, also add WinRAR to our list here. As you can see, now we have uh, selected two apps. Let's select another one. Let's, let's select um, our media player again, and then we can install uh, or generate a script which is here now generated. You can generate it for a batch, a batch file, for the command prompt, also for PowerShell. And all you need to do is uh, copy that to the clipboard and then paste it here into our command line. And once we have done that, uh, all the software we have selected on the website will be automatically downloaded and installed. So you can do a base installation for your system. You just have to select all your applications you need and then run the script and the software will automatically be downloaded and installed at once. For example, um, we let this working here now. And for example, I have uh, created a batch file for my system for my base installation, which contains all the software I want to put on a new computer. And all I need to do uh, if I reinstall Windows or get a new computer is to run this batch file here and it will install most of my standard software I use. And as you can see, we are now almost finished here. Uh, we have installed our three software packages here, Notepad++, WinRA and now the last one is the VLC media player, which will be installed in a few seconds. And if we have a look to our uh, start menu, we now can see we have installed WinRA, Notepad and all the software. So it saves a lot of time if you generate a script with all your software and then, then just run the script. Okay, well, that's it. That's uh, Winget, uh, the package manager for Windows, which I find very handy to install software. Okay, well, that's it, and goodbye.